Methi is one winter green credited not just for one but for multiple health benefits and today I have an interesting way of incorporating it in your diet. Hi guys, this is Ruchi Bharani and welcome to Rajshree Food, your ultimate destination for 100% vegetarian recipes. And today I have methi sabzi for you. I have a pot of boiling water here. Into that I'm going to add in half a cup of yellow moong dal. I've just thoroughly washed the moong dal and soaked it for about 15 to 20 minutes and drained out all the water. So I'm going to add it in this boiling water. I'm also going to add in two pinches of salt to help it cook and give it a stir. We need to boil the dal till it's cooked to at least 80%. I've cleaned up one big bunch of methi leaves, so around 4 cups of methi leaves. While you clean the methi, make sure you don't take too much of the stem or it adds to the bitterness. I've kept the methi leaves whole, but if you want to get rid of little more of the bitterness, you can chop up the methi leaves and then rinse it, so that way you get rid of some more bitterness. So let's start sauteing it till this dal is getting cooked. Heat around one and a half tablespoon of oil. Also give the dal a stir. The dal needs about three to four minutes more. Meanwhile, the oil is nice and hot. Into this, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of cumin seeds. Also one dry red chilli. If you have green, you could even use that. Half a teaspoon of asafoetida. 1 tablespoon of finely chopped ginger, also 1 tablespoon of finely chopped garlic. Saute these ingredients for a few seconds. The ginger and the garlic is nicely cooked. Into this I'm going to add in these 4 cups of methi leaves. Give this a good stir. So the methi leaves has nicely shrunk and now I'm going to let it cook for at least a good 2-3 to three minutes while I check on the dal. The dal seems to be done and I'm going to turn off the flame now. This recipe is a good way to incorporate methi in a healthy way in your diet. But if you're in a mood to try something rich, do check out the link of methi matar malai in the description box below. I've strained the dal and let's just stir on these methi leaves. If you feel it's sticking to the pan, you can always add in about 2 tablespoons of water. These seem to be cooked now and into this, let's add in the dal. Give it a good mix. The dal and the methi leaves have nicely mixed and now into this I'm going to add in the seasoning ingredients. So first goes in 1 teaspoon of coriander and cumin seed powder, 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder, 1 4 teaspoon turmeric powder, salt to taste and just 2 pinches of sugar which is optional so if you would like to add some you can do so. Give it a good mix. Let's add in 2 tablespoons of water so that everything comes together properly and let it simmer for 2 more minutes. While this is simmering, you know what you need to gear up for, the shout out segment, so stay tuned till the end. No sabzi is complete without a handful of coriander leaves, so that's the last ingredient that goes in. Give it a stir and turn off the flame.
Bring the goodness of methi to your palate with this delicious methi ki sabzi. Do give it a try. Eat well and stay fabulous. Take care. Bye bye. Methi is an extremely healthy leafy green that is made in many flavorful ways. If you have a unique way to incorporate it in your diet, do let me know in the comment section below.